Hi, my name's Duncan. I'm fishing here at uh, Oakview. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of what are the tactics and the setup I'm using. To start with, I'm using a running rig setup with a light lead and a combi link. Fairly unusual, um, but it does really work. So the important thing with this is to have a fluorocarbon line. It's heavy, sinks, sinks right to the bottom and also it's less stretching it than ordinary mono so it becomes much more sensitive. With the running rig itself you've got a very light lead, you don't need heavy leads, no leader either. Um, to me that's a good aspect of fish safety where if you've got a leader it changes the weak point from the swivel to the top of the leader so if you get a snap off if you lose a fish that's going to snap there and the leader itself will still be attached to the fish and there's less chance of the lead being ejected. So light running lead, it's only a, it's a smallish lake so I don't need to cast far. Um, on top of that then we've got a, a little buffer bead just to stop the lead from hitting the swivel. On top of that we've got a helicopter sleeve and, a, and that's onto a quick link swivel so I can, can swap and change the hooks very quickly and I can have some ready ready made up. The hook link itself is just a, um, a combi link and I've got 12 pound fluorocarbon on there uh, and it's um, attached to a very short piece of 22 pound braid and that creates a very nice um, a flexible link and it secures a good hook hold. Uh, also got a blowback style here um, and for this particular instance I'm using sweet corn. Okay so I'm just going to cast out now and show you how I actually set the line up. So a little flick out on this occasion. Feather it down and you'll notice with this fluorocarbon line how it sinks already it's sinking let it lie all the way along flat along the bottom so okay it's gone off completely slack now just play off a little bit more attach this this is just a guide it's not really indicator as such it's just a guide for the line to make sure that sensitivity and goes through the roller so I've got nice and slack and I'll just tighten up a little bit because this helps to add to the bolt effect. So when the fish does actually take, you can see there, it's a, bit, it's a bit harder to take off. And finally, just to set it, just put the line in the clip. And again, when the fish takes off, that'll hit the clip and that'll increase the bolt effect. Take hook hold. One inch inside the bottom there. Thirty-two eleven. Seventeen fish of the week. <laughs> yeah, move on. Right now that looks pretty good. The three great advantages of the system are firstly no back leads. You don't get liners because the fish, because the line is tucked away uh, and fish can swim over uh, your lines without bumping into them so they don't spook off. And finally, of course, you can, when you're playing fish, it's a lot easier um, because again, they won't bump into your line, they won't pick up your lines, generally speaking. So you can play, your, even with a three rod setup, you can play the fish right over your rods. This ain't gonna give up. This has a making of a very good fish. 
unless it's a bionic common. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, nice. 